Good morning everyone, or good afternoon, or whatever time it is for you right now. Today we're here at a ramp and we're here to have an awesome day fishing. We have our friends Andiali, Nani, and Chino coming along on the trip with us today. We brought rods, we brought a bow for the first time. We're gonna try bow fishing. Maybe we'll be able to catch some fish on the back of the boat. That'll be a really cool new experience for us. And we brought rods, fishing lines, and today we're planning on going out a few miles to try to catch some dolphin, which will also be really cool. So we have a huge and fun day ahead of us with awesome stuff to do. And just like Blue Gave says, you guys are riding shotgun. So let's go. <laughs> It had been more than 10 minutes set up in our fishing spot, chumming the water, and we already hooked up. And the first person to hook up was Amdeli. He caught a beautiful sized yellowtail. You guys can see how beautiful it looks. And right away, as he was putting his fish in the cooler, my dad hooked up with another fish. And it was another beautiful sized yellowtail. In this fishing spot, we caught mostly yellowtails, but we also caught some other different types of species of fish, which I'm not going to tell you guys which ones they are. You have to stay a little later into the video to find out. And we caught, you remember the thumbnail? We caught a huge shark. And you guys are going to be able to see it, but it's going to be a little later in the video. So stay tuned because this video is going to be amazing and I just know you're going to enjoy it. So that was Chino's first fish of the day, and now it's me and my mom's turn to use the hand lines. My mom caught a yellowtail right away on her first throw, and I caught one also. Mine is coming in now. She caught a really good sized one. Here he comes, over the water. And the reason you guys only see us catching yellowtail is because we really like yellowtail. That's our favorite fish to eat on, on a regular basis. This one's mine. I'd say it was a pretty good sized yellowtail too. And now I'm gonna take out the hook so I can throw him in the cooler. Okay guys, now the hardcore action has started. So my dad got his turn back and he hooked up again, but this time I don't think it's a yellowtail. It's pulling way harder and it's moving from side to side on the boat. So he's having to move to move to on daddy's side. Some of you guys that watch me are experienced fishermen. So tell me, write it down in the comments down below right now, pause the video and tell me what you think this fish is. Cause it's not a yellowtail. So give it a guess. Okay guys, here he comes. Did you guess what he is? And it's a bonita. And 
barely give it a great gaff and pulled it up to the boat. It's a good sized banana and maybe we can make some delicious spicy tuna with it. And the fishing went on. Here, uh, our daddy had hooked up to a yellowtail, but he thought it was a cobia, only because uh, a big serrucho, or a kingfish, had eaten the back of it. He was holding on to it, so it felt heavy. So, that was one cool bite that we had. And now, my brother's hooked up to a good yellowtail! So, let's see what size it is when he brings it up. Show the camera. Five. Give me five. Louis, let me see, hold let me see. it. Hold nice. it, show it to the camera. Go ahead. Oh, that's a very, very big one. Nice. Put it to the side. As you guys watch my dad bring in this nice fish, I'm gonna go ahead and do the shout outs. I think it's the perfect time to do so. So, there are three new people who commented in my last video, and here are the shout outs. First, I wanna give a big thank you to Dianelis Montera, Carl Smith, and Elenis Acosta. Thank you guys so much for commenting under my video. Guys, just the fact that people take their time to leave a comment and something sweet for me to read is just amazing. And thank you. So if you guys would like a shout out in my next video, all you have to do is comment down below that you would like one and you'll get it for sure. That's all you have to do. And now let's keep going with the video, watching Chino reel in this nice fish. And guys, as the sun started to set, the action started to get even more intense. Then you guys just saw how the yo-yo just went flying. And that was from our shark. Yep, you guys heard me correctly. Andriani was hooked up to a shark, the one that you guys saw in the thumbnail. Here he is bringing it up slow and steady. We had to be careful with the line because if the shark decided to take off or do some weird movement, it would snap and we would get maybe cut by the line because it is shark. And then he was bringing it up slow and steady, doing a great job. And we decided to dip the GoPro into the water to get this great footage for you guys. First time we've done it. And be expecting more of these awesome shots. Here he was shaking his head. He did that a few more times, trying to get the hook out. Be expecting more of these cool underwater shots in our video, guys. We saw how good it turned out, and we're going to give you guys a lot more. Finally, we had the boat, the shark next to the boat. And my dad put a rope around his tail. That was the last step, the last thing we needed to do to secure the shark and make sure he wouldn't get away. So my dad did it carefully, watching out for the shark. And now the shark is secured, so no matter what it does, it will not be able to get away. In the end, the shark fought a little bit to try to get loose. Here you guys can see it, and we will show you later in the video the damage that he did to our boat because he actually bit it a few times and he scratched it a little bit. So you guys will be able to see that in a little bit. But eventually the shark calmed down and we were able to get him up on the boat carefully and we took him back home. And that's 
gonna end off today's fishing trip. We caught a ton of fish and we had a lot of fun doing so. Now we're probably gonna go home, clean the boat, and probably clean up the fish. But the next time you guys will see us, we'll be in the kitchen. And just like that, our shark meat is ready. You guys can see that it's very white meat. It looks very rough. Perfect treat. And I wanna show you guys something. Come here. So, I want to show you guys what the shark did to our boat. This was him with his teeth. He did that with his teeth. And then he also had some scratches over here. Because we tied him up with a rope over here so he was hanging right here in the water to lose some energy so that we could put him on the boat. So, a little bit of damage, but it we was We can worth fix it. it. Yeah, it was worth it. And the next thing you guys are going to see is how the sharks taste. Let's go. And guys, here's our uh, shark meat. So what we did is we sauteed it with a little bit of yellow pepper, just some seasonings that we had here at the house. We didn't go all out. Here we have our sour sauce. So this is some onion with some peppers and a little bit of garlic. This is sour. This is kind of like how they cook uh, fish in Peru. So this is a Peruan recipe. We're gonna accompany it with some boiled corn and some plantains that we have over here fried. It's gonna be a delicious sour shark recipe, so that's it. Well guys, here we are with our shark meat. You guys can see it right there. It looks delicious. Our sour shark meat. We're gonna give this a try. I am so excited to try it. Everything has been so much fun from catching the shark. It was my first time catching a shark, which was pretty cool. And Daddy caught it for us, he hooked it up. He was trying for like, I would say about an hour to hook up on that shark because he kept on getting it and then he would come off. But he finally got it, we pulled it up to the boat. Here is the delicious final product. Let's give it a try. Mmm, wow, that's surprisingly tender. The sauce is beautiful with it. I love the sour taste of it. We also have it with some plantains, some yellow rice that my grandma made for us and some boiled corn. Mmm, that's really good actually. We're gonna go ahead and end off today's video on that delicious note and what better way to do it than by showing you guys this clip that was not in the video but that did happen on the same fishing trip of Andali shooting two chopas on one throw with an arrow in the back of the boat. They were feeding on a chub and Andali decided to do a shot and he caught two in one throw. These are delicious and it's completely legal to catch these. Be waiting for a video upcoming of us bow shooting some fish. That's gonna be really exciting. And if you guys liked today's video, I would really appreciate it if you could go down below, smash the subscribe button, turn on the bell so you'll get notified whenever I post, give the video a big thumbs up, and to comment down below if you would like a shout out in the next video. That's it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!